friends and welcome welcome thank you for joining me for craft with us for those of you who don't know me my name is Brittany I'm the head of children's here at the Winchester Public Library most everybody calls me Miss B not because we're formal in any way just because it's easier to say all right so for those of you who picked up our craft bags this morning you know we're making a tulip card and for those of you who didn't, it's pretty simple. So if you have something you can trace or if you can draw a couple of simple shapes and you have some different color paper around, you can definitely do this one at home. No problem at all. So let's go through what we need, shall we? So if you picked up our bag, you know that you got about four pieces of construction paper right here. I started to do some of the steps, so I've already folded mine. I'll get to that in just a second. We have a template here and then you should have gotten some glue just like that okay and then you need a pencil and some scissors and as always friends if we're using scissors we need our grown-up around so thanks for helping grown-ups all right so here we go so the first thing you want to do is if you haven't already and I did you want to take your template and you want to cut out all the pieces Okay, we're gonna trim some of them even smaller later on, but you need to have your heart, your tulip, your tulip top, your petal, or your stem, or your leaf, and then your bigger stem, right there. So four pieces that you cut out like that, okay? All right, so now, we're gonna take one of our pieces of construction paper. Mm -hmm, which one do I want? And we're going to trace our heart. I'm gonna use green. All right, so trace your heart on one of your pieces of construction paper. This is a nice big shape to trace. So my young friends out there, I hope you're doing this one all on your own, okay? If it takes you a couple of times to trace it, that's a-okay. So we trace our heart. Right there. Just like that, okay. Traced, and now we cut it out. So we get those scissors, we hold our scissor motion, and we cut away from us along our pencil line. Okay, again, this is a nice big shape to cut. So my friends out there, I hope you're giving this a good try. You can always have your grown-up help you at the end. Grown-ups, this is great motor skill development. So let's encourage our young friends to do as much cutting as they can course while we're watching. All right. There we go. Got a green heart. I'm going to save the rest of my paper, so I'm going to move it over here. And now what we do, friends, so we make our card extra fancy, what we want to do is we want to trim the outline away from our heart and then we're going to glue it inside of our green heart, okay? So just cut all of the outline away so you'll only have the white heart left. white to our color. Okay, so take some of your glue. Young friends out there, I know this is your favorite part, so smear that glue all over the place. Okay. Okay. We take our little heart, we put it right inside our big heart. There we go. Step one, 
two, and three. Set. Okay, now we're gonna set this aside for a minute. Okay, now we wanna trace your leaves and your stem onto your construction paper. Okay, that little piece is just in my way. All right, so I'm gonna use green again. So it's up to you, you can have one leaf or two leaves or no leaves if you want. If you don't wanna have any leaves, if you just wanna have your flower and your stem, that's okay too, this is your craft. You do however you wanna do, okay? So I'm just gonna trace my stem. And if you want your stem to be a little smaller, you can do that too. This is your craft. So it doesn't have to look like mine. It should look like yours. All right, I'm gonna do one leaf on one side of my flower. Leaf. And then I'm gonna cut out my stem. Make mine a little smaller. Okay, go over here. All right, now we wanna glue our stem at the bottom of our heart like this. So more glue. So our stem and our leaf go right at the bottom. Like that. There's our stem. And a little more. I did one leaf, but again, you can do two leaves if you want. It's totally up to you. There we go. We're getting there, right friends? There we are. Okay. Now, woo, I almost lost my glue down the back of my desk. That would have been bad, friends. Okay, but I caught it. All right, so now you want to trace your tulip petal as many times as you can onto your paper. So what I did is I folded my paper I put two pieces of paper back to back, so I've got my purple and my pink, and I folded it once, and then I folded it twice, so it looks like a little book, and then I traced my tulips on. So when I cut it, I'll have lots of tulips, and I'll show you what we're gonna do. But if we're working on our motor skills and you wanna trace everyone individually, you do you, and you go right ahead, my friends. I just wanna make sure I show you the finished product. It's gonna be a little harder to cut if you folded your paper, but you can do it. Your grown-up can help you, but it is gonna be a little harder to cut the more times we fold our paper. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut the outlines out. Go down, and up, and down, and up, and then we go down. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like with just these few, okay? So I've got one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, these are all gonna become flower petals here, so watch. Okay, all right. So now they're all caught, we want to Put them all on top of each other like this like so and then you want to fold them it's okay if it's not perfect like this and then what we want to do is this is going to stand up like this. So we wanna glue all of these pieces together. See, it's a good thing I didn't drop my glue all the way down the back of my desk. I wouldn't have been able to show you this. So you wanna do a, some glue on each one of the petals on one side. Like that. We're gonna glue them on top of each other. more, a little 
more. And then you just want to make sure each side is glued. And then the last one. Okay. There we go. Oh. All right. So now we put some glue on the very back of our tulip. So now we've got one side that sort of fans out and one side that's all smooshed together with our glue. So now we put our glue on the back of one side. We kind of line it up here. And if they didn't, if your stems didn't quite work out and you want to trim them, that's okay. You go right ahead. Mine didn't line up with my glue, so that's okay. And then you take your ah, and you press, 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 press. And then we fold it down like this. And now what we do is we go onto the other side of just the back, just this last, and we put a little more glue like that. And then we press it down like that. And look, we've got flower petals. How cool is that? And you can just leave it just like this or you can turn it into a card and write to someone that you love, one of your friends, your grown-ups, whoever you want. But there you are. And now what we just want to do, friends, after we've done all of this gluing is we do want to let it dry just for a few minutes, okay? All right. So there we are. Hello everyone, thanks for joining me. So that is our tulip flower card, our craft for this Monday. All right, friends. Well, craft bags go out every Monday that we are open and they go out at nine o'clock outside and they are first come first served. So anytime you feel like crafting with us, just stop by on a Monday morning and pick up a craft bag. Um, but again, usually these are ones you can do from home. You just need some paper, be able to draw a heart, a couple of flower petals and you're good to go. If you ever want any more specific instructions about this or any of the other crafts that we do, please don't hesitate to send us a message here on Instagram, uh, winpublib, and we're happy to respond and send you anything that you need. And if, as always, we do love to see pictures of your craft, so please do send us pictures. All right, thank you so much for joining me. I will see you all same time, same place next week. And my friends, as I say every week, be safe, be kind, Wash your hands and wear your mask. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.